Hi, all you gorgeous friends. Um, <laughs> the camera's in the rain. So I don't know if you can see me now. So while Ivy's having her midday feed, I'll just talk a little bit more about the gut. And uh, it's, it's a really fascinating subject and also very scary when you think of what uh, all the information that we have not been given. Uh, and I remember when I was a child in school, a big girl, and um, we had biology, and the teacher had this torso and opened the torso, took the skin off, and looked into all these organs. I was just fascinated. I just felt this uh, love, or this, yeah, just deep fascination of how the body looks and all this that we hold in our physical body. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't realize then but I know now that I was actually very, very sick in my gut. And uh, so I'll just talk a little bit about the gut and uh, what it does for us. And as I said, Hippocrates said that the, the gut uh, is actually, uh, all disease has its roots in the gut. It's uh, when you have a disease, it, it is something that's happened in the gut that's not good. So it's really the gut that's sick, that, that produces an illness. And so the gut is, uh, it's like where all our organs have their roots. Because it is the place in us uh, that actually has contact with the outside world and takes in nourishment. We also take in nourishment from the sun, I mean the air around us, through our skin, and in different other different ways. But uh, our gut uh, is, is the nourisher of our whole body. So all the food, everything we breathe in, uh, that we take into our bodies, is, is, uh, the gut is supposed to transform it to energy so that all our organs are energized, all our cells are energized. And so what happens in a healthy baby is that the baby is born with a sterile gut just like a calf, a calf is like a human being. You're born with a sterile gut and, um, and you're also born with a holy gut. So the first milk, the colostrum that the baby drinks uh, is meant to, to, to seal the gut and fill the gut with the first bacteria. So there's no bacteria in us when we're born. So as we slide through our mother's vagina, which is the best way, of course, because it's the natural way, we swallow some of uh, the liquid in her vagina and that is our first mouthful of bacteria. And Ivy, <laughs> Ivy, come here. <laughs> Ivy. Um, and it, uh, this uh, bacteria multiplies. And if it's a healthy mother we have who has healthy gut bacteria, bacteria uh, this will grow and multiply and end, we will end up as a, a grown up with about uh, one and a half kilos That's true. one and a half kilos of bacteria and fungi and um, uh, what is it bacteria fungi um, is also um, oh there's four different things I can't just remember them now <laughs> so I'm not an oh, expert at all Anyway, all these bacteria, they're, they're, supposed to, um, they're supposed to line uh, with a thick mucus layer, the whole digestive tract, which is, if you stretch it out, it's as, as big as a tennis court, so it's huge. So this mucus is supposed to lie there as a thick lining, and everything we swallow, everything we breathe in, it, it has to transform. Some of it, like toxins that we breathe in or eat, it will, it will just gobble up. And, and destroy or take with it all the way through and out into our feces. Uh, and all the nutrients, it has to change so that it turns into to nutrients for our blood, that our blood can, can use. And see, uh, 
until recently we all had healthy guts. But one huge big change that has really, really destroyed our guts is the anti antibiotics. And what they do is they go down and destroy, because if you have a disease, which sometimes antibiotics are really useful, of course, they save lives. Um, but when you take them, they destroy all the bacteria in the gut. And there are two different types of bacteria which, which can tolerate antibiotics, and that's Candida, and that's Colostride something, <laughs> which I can't remember. I've heard Natasha Campbell McBride do this wonderful talk about this. And uh, so when you've taken this, all the healthy bacteria are killed, and these two survive. And within all the empty space, they just spread out. And that's what happened to me when I was a baby. Um, and also when I was born, my mother had unhealthy gut flora, and her mother also had quite unhealthy gut flora, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And so I was born with the unhealthy gut flora, but still, when you get your mother's milk, they will, you will get some beneficial bacteria. Uh, but as soon as you get your first antibiotics, they will more or less be killed. So instead of having one and a half kilos of healthy bacteria which protect you and make you well, you will have something that makes you very, very toxic and very sick. And that's what happened to me. So I've been uh, struggling with, it, with my health all my life because of this. And uh, so, and for, for some of us, it's really serious, and that's why um, Natasha Campbell McBride's uh, diet, this the GAPS diet, which is not just a diet to lose weight or something. It's it's a way of eating, where you actually go and heal the gut, and you nourish yourself because for most of us, just let her off. That's it. That's it. Um, well, yeah, just to go back to the GAPS diet. That's so Fiona. Yeah, the healthy bacteria, which I've mentioned before, it's everywhere. So this cow is full of healthy bacteria, and when I suck my finger or do something here, this bacteria that's on her body will go into my gut, and it's very healthy for me. That's why they say that children who grow, grow up on farms, who have contact with animals and the land, they have much healthier bacteria because they're feeding off all this. It's coming into their system and it grows. So where nature is untouched by chemicals and healthy, there's filled with beneficial bacteria. So being in nature is very, very good for us and getting dirty fingers. And I've mentioned this before, the calf, when it's very young, it will eat lots of soil, and the soil is full of beneficial bacteria. So anyway, what happens to us when we get unhealthy bacteria is that the whole system that's supposed to nourish our uh, bodies, the gut, it actually starts to destroy our bodies from within, and the, all the processes that are meant to work naturally and healthily uh, for our brain, for everything that's going on, they are disturbed. So, and, and I think um, there's, there's, <laughs> there's, I mean, this is just such a huge world. And I think uh, when people open their eyes to healing their guts, we will really, really see changes on the earth. Um, because when you have, when you heal your gut, uh, you become well. Uh, and of course we have, uh, we have this huge um, pressure or what can you say? We've grown up to believe that the, medicine, medical companies and the doctors, they say the truth. And these belief systems are so difficult to, to, to get rid of. So, um, we're, and, and, uh, and we're simply not being informed about this, but luckily a person like Natasha Campbell McBride uh, has bringing, is, and our, our other wonderful people are bringing this information into, to all people. And, uh, and the fact that you actually can heal a very, very sick child who's autistic, who you can't get into contact with, 
and just by changing the diet you can heal this child and he becomes completely normal. It is just a living proof that uh, these serious things they come from our gut. So um, and and so it's not only mental illnesses, uh, it's all sorts of illnesses of course. So in my case it was eczema, skin problems, digestive problems, um, nervousness, um, yeah, just many different things, but and I probably also had some mental <laughs> problems too because of the the gut flora. So um, yeah, so this was just a little bit more about uh, about our gut and how important it is, and um, yeah, I just also like to say that um, it is it is really really challenging for us all today because uh, there is there, there are just challenges on all areas of our lives and for people who are struggling with their health um, it's not exactly something that we have lots of energy for um, so but I just want to tell you that that it is really worth it to uh, to change your life and say okay now I'm going to help myself instead of take taking the medicine from the doctors which really uh, will slowly just make you more and more weak and sick uh, to say okay I'm going to I want to change my life and you can actually heal the gut, uh, even at, I mean, no matter how old you are, uh, because the body is so incredibly intelligent, and it has been wanting to heal all your life, but because we have learned to do things that are not good for it, it hasn't had the chance to heal. So when we stop take, uh, taking in foods that are hard for us to digest, and that, are hard, that, that actually feed the bad bacteria, when we stop doing that, and we change our lives, become more calm, uh, take time to rest, and really do things that heal our gut, uh, then the body heals. The body is given what it needs to do all the healing processes. And as I said in the beginning, it takes time. So, and I, f I can see that in my own life, that, that understanding that things take time is a great, great lesson for me because I'm so, um, I'm so I have so little patience, <laughs> and the fact that my body is taking so long to heal is very, very actually very. That's very healing for me because I have to learn. God wants to teach me to be much more patient, and to have this, uh, to develop this ability, the art of accepting, accepting life exactly as it is. And understanding that you can't just fix everything. You can fix some things, but some things are not meant to be fixed. They're meant to be there to teach you to relax and accept and trust. So, uh, yeah, this was a more a little bit more about the gut <laughs> with Fiona, who's getting used to her little calf. It's taking time. You're so sad. You're so tiny. So, so see you, my friend. Who's so that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that?